Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm sharing a card with you today that is part of the Color Fusers blog hop. We were challenged today to make a card using Pineapple Punch, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, and Very Vanilla. I chose to use the Piece of Cake stamp set along with the Cake Builder Punch and then this really fun stamp set called Amazing Life. And I love the big greetings that are in here and it's just got some fun sayings as well as some really pretty images. Let's get started and I'll show you what I came up with. I always like to bring in my card layers first so you can get the dimensions down. If you ever want to find those in one place, you can head over to my blog. There's also going to be a link at the end of this video that you can click in the top right corner that's going to take you right to my blog. And the description of the video is the exact link. Like the link in the top corner will take you to my blog. But if you want to get to the exact link for this particular project, look in the description of the YouTube video and you'll see something that says see more. If you click on that, there's a whole bunch of information in there with a shopping list in case you want to place an order. My first piece here is the Mango Melody. This is my card base, and this is five and a half by eight, and we're gonna do some scoring. So I brought in my paper trimmer, and we're going to score on the long side at four and a quarter inches. We've got a scoring blade and a cutting blade here. Four and a quarter inches, and then we're gonna score again at six and three quarters. And that's going to make the pocket for our card. Then I've got some other layers here. I've got a scrap of basic black. We are allowed to add neutral colors to our color challenge. I've got a scrap of very vanilla, a scrap of pineapple punch. I've got a scrap here of mango melody that we're going to use. And then the inside layer for our card is five and an eighth by four and one sixteenth. So let's do some stamping here first. I'm gonna set this aside. Bring in my paper piercing mat. I've just covered it with some printer paper. And we're gonna stamp our cake. Now I chose to use stays on ink for the cake because I'm gonna be coloring it with markers. And we're going to stamp that cake on our scrap. And then as long as we have this out, we can bring in our inside layer, which was five and an eighth by four and a sixteenth. And I'm going to stamp the greeting that says, life's too short to say no to cake. And isn't that just the truth? <laughs> I love cake. And like I said, we're going to be using markers for this card. So I chose the Melon Mambo marker. And I'm going to quickly just color up this outline word cake. This is the perfect opportunity to add a splash of color to your greeting. I love it when um, greetings have the different fonts and then this outline. It lends to a lot of fun. You don't have to color it in if you don't want to, but I think it's kind of fun. I like to go around with the writing end of my marker and outline and then come back in with the coloring tip and finish it off so I can just easily go right down the middle of those letters and hopefully keep my marker inside the line. I think, whoops, I've got one more little dot there. I think we've done a pretty good job here. Let me do just a little bit more right here. There we go. We'll blend that in just a little bit more. Perfect, okay. The other thing that I wanted to put on here and I almost forgot is in the piece of cake stamp set is this cute little flower that is actually made for the top of one of the cakes but I thought it would be neat to add it to this corner because it's going to give it a really nice little accent on our card. And I think I'll just come over here. I'm using Pineapple Punch right now. 
And now Mango Melody. And then I'm bringing in my Melon Mambo. The other thing, whoops, the other thing we need to color is our cake. So I chose just to color a few of the flowers on this cake. And I've got a really good tip about the little beading or piping on the different layers here too. That I'll share in just a second. If you're gentle with these markers, you will keep really nice, crisp, pointy ends on them. Don't push too hard when you're coloring with them. I always have a tendency to push and you don't need to. And that'll make your markers stay really nice and pointy so you have that detailed point. Now, here's what I'm talking about with the piping. I just take my marker and I'm using the brush end and I just draw a line across my layer. You don't have to sit and color in each one of those little balls. I hope you can see that in the camera because it works really good. Okay, here comes our cake builder punch and I'm just going to punch out my cake. And then this black layer that's here, that's where my cake platter comes into play. So I've got this and this. And we're gonna add some dimensionals to both of these layers because why wouldn't you pop those up make them fun and I've got big dimensionals here for my cake one would probably be enough right in the middle but I want this to be extra sturdy and then with these other scraps that I have here um, I've got my melon mambo scrap here. I die cut the scallop circle and the stitched shapes circle. So these are coordinating. And I've already got those done here for the purposes of our video. So I'm going to add my cake layer to my very vanilla stitched shape circle. I want to make sure you get that in the center. And then we have our cake coming in. I'm just going to butt that right up against my cake platter. Isn't that just the sweetest? Oh, I see it's off center. Hang on. I'm glad I didn't push it down too hard. There we go. Get your cake centered. Get your cake in order. <laughs> That's what I felt like I was saying. Get your cake in order. Okay, here we go. I'll stand up and look over the top. That usually gives me a better vantage point. Okay, there's our cutie patootie little cake. We're going to add that to our Melon Mambo scallop circle. And I just love the pop of colors that was chosen for our challenge this month. I think they're so pretty. Okay, next, this is the piece that we scored. So we're going to fold on those score lines. Get your bone folder out so you can give it a good crisp fold. You want that edge to be nice and crisp. There we go. And then we have our vanilla baker's twine. And I just took it, I'm going to leave some hanging off here so I have enough to tie a nice bow. And then I'm going to wrap this around three times. Get it nice and snug, and then I kind of pinch it and make it meet up here so I know that it's going to be long enough. And then when I'm using baker twi baker's twine, I like to tie my baker's twine in a knot first before I tie a bow. And that way you don't have to futz around with the bow trying to keep it tight, which sometimes can be quite a challenge. You think things like this should be really simple, but sometimes they're our most challenging element of a card, right? Oh, that went out really good. I thought, oh, this is gonna give me a hard time here. Let's see, let's get this bow down here. 
Okay, that looks nice. Another little tip, if you wanna make your bow smaller, you wanna hang on to your loops while you're pulling those tails because Baker's twine has a tendency to twist up and once it twists up, you really can't get it to stop doing that. Okay, these two scraps, the lemon lime, or the lemon lime, the pineapple punch, I'm gonna bring in my decorative ribbon border, my decorative ribbon border punch, I said it right. I always say that wrong, so I was checking that. And I'm going to punch out the pineapple punch. So I have a little decoration for the front of my card, and this is just going to add some more color. I'm going to do the same thing with the Melon Mambo layer. Both of these are five and a half inches wide because that's the width of my card, and that's how big I need, how wide I need my ribbon to be also. So if you notice, if you've never used these before, I'm just lining the already die cut piece up with the decoration that's on here. This is like a template. You just keep sliding it down. There's a couple little lines right here where you push your card stuck in and start there. You have some great confetti when you're done if you need some confetti for one of your cards. That works out pretty good. Okay. Now, how do you glue this together? Because it's got holes all over in it, right? So that's just a little like, oh, really? What are you going to do there? I'm just going to take my liquid glue. I'm going to hold this piece of ribbon paper up. And I call it ribbon because that's what we've made here is like a ribbon. I hold it up and I run my glue down it. Now I'm going to set it down and bring in... my Melon Mambo layer, push that on there, and then I'm just going to hold it up again, and I'm holding it up so I don't get glue in the holes that were on here all over my piece of paper that I'm stamping on here. But if you hold it up in the air, the glue's only going to stick to the part where there's cardstock, right? Okay, this is probably a better idea to do this before you put your baker's twine on, but I kind of forgot. So I'm just going to push this down in here. And notice that I'm using the smaller end of my, the smaller scalloped edge of my border, not the bigger one. Because I think that I love this edge. I love the edge that's really tiny versus the scallopy ones. Well, they're both scallopy. You know what I mean. Okay, so check that out. Here comes our cake. And we're going to add some dimensionals. Now you want to make sure that you're not putting dimensionals that are going to touch up here because our card is going to slide in there. So I'm going to put one right in the middle and two down on the lower edge here. So here's my cake and here's my one in the middle and two on the lower edge. Come on, you little bugger. Okay, here comes our cake that's going to set right on here. Here comes our insert card. Now, before we put this in our card, I have something else to do here, and it's kind of just a fun little element. So I've got my Melon Mambo and my Mango Melody. That's a mouthful, right? Um, there's, there's words. Okay, so... In the piece of cake stamp set, I have cut the cake, and cake is the answer. And I thought, how cute would this look running across the bottom of my insert card? And I'm going to do my cake is the answer in Mango Melody. I'm going to put that right on the bottom center of my card. I'm sorry, with Melon Mambo. Oh my goodness. And then the Mango Melody, cut the cake. I'm going to put that on either side of my card. What do you think? Isn't this just kind of funny? Life's too short to say no to cake. Cut the cake. Cake is the answer. Cut the cake. And the funny thing about this card, I think, is that this doesn't have to be a birthday card. It can be just a card to a friend. You need to write them a note, thank them for something. Um... 
just give them a boost like hope you're having a great day or whatever if you have a friend who needs a smile it's a good way to do it what do you guys think how did I do I think I did okay I used all the colors required of this color challenge now if you'd like to place an order for any of the products that I've shown you, I've got the piece of cake. This comes as a bundle if you would like it to. When you order these two together, you get a 10% discount. Now make sure that you're using the bundle code. So there's an item code for the stamp set. There's an item code for the punch. Make sure you're using the item code that includes both of them for that 10% discount. And then the Amazing Life stamp set. This is just a really fun set. And I wanted to show you how big, oops, hang on here, how big this greeting is. So happy to have you in my life. I love this one. And then we've got this, yay, it's great big. We have a little clover, some flowers, um, a cake in here, some filigree, happy birthday. This is a really, really nice little stamp set too. Both of these are in the Occasions mini catalog. And the piece of cake um, builder punch was on back order for a long time. So that's back in. I will have an online class coming out shortly uh, in April with this bundle. So watch for that because I have, I have some great cards up my sleeve for that. Please make sure that you're heading back to my blog right here. Click on this link. That'll take you right back to my blog today where you will find the Color Fusers blog hop and you can... Click on the name under mine and uh, or the next button and hop along and see what everybody else has made using this color combination. I always love to see all the different creative ideas. All right, you guys, don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And today is the first day of the storage promotion. Stampin' Up! has new storage. These are fabulous storage for your reinkers, your ink pads, and there's even a little box here you can put ribbons and stuff like that in. Um, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that is somebody besides me, please contact them to get your Stampin' storage. I think this is going to be a fabulous addition to my stamp room. And um, I can't wait to order this. And this goes live today, April 1st. So don't forget about this. And we've got the floral grid paper. That item code is 150819. This also is available to the public today while supplies last. And I just happen to have a sheet of it here. It is so pretty. When you like this to be your work surface when you're making cards, I absolutely love this. So, two great promotions starting today. Contact your Stampin' Up! demonstrator or me if you don't have one. I'd love to earn your business. And get yourself some storage for your ink pads, your markers, your Stampin' Blends, your re-inkers, and anything in the little cube that's open. Join me on the blog hop. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.